bride and welcome to my spring design set workshop. In this workshop we're going to be doing some really delicate spring inspired designs that are also perfect for the bridal season. I really hope you guys enjoy this workshop so let's get started. Hi everyone and welcome to my spring inspired workshop so i've already created this nail and we are going to be doing some simple salon viable nail designs using this beautiful little daisy pattern so i'm going to show you how to create these daisies and i've already prepared my tips so i have gone in with two coats of blush from the core collection from get nailed by lauren mcbride and i have not put anything on top of this so this has still got a slight inhibition layer on there um, so if we were doing this on a client we will have done our prep our base coat and then gone in with our two coats of chosen color so i've chosen blush because it's a really soft pink and really pretty but you could also do this on a client on their nude nails so you could do like a clear base um, and then no base coat, no base color whatsoever and just do this on their nude nails. So I'm gonna show you how to create this really simple daisy design. So I'm gonna go in with my brush and I'm gonna fully load it into my white, which I have used Innocence, again, from the core collection, from Get Nailed by Lauren McBride. So we are going to cover this entire nail in daisies. So I'm going to start with my main daisy and I'm going to do it just off center. And I'm going to put the point of my brush down into where I want the center of my daisy. And you can see there, I've just created a really simple petal. So the point of my brush is going into the center and then I'm pushing down from the point and then pulling up to create that petal shape. And I'm just going to work all the way around, loading up my brush every time that central point, okay? So just go all the way around, leaving a little gap in the center because we are going to put the center of the daisy in with our different color, which is pot of gold. And depending on how hard you push down will depend on how big your petal is going to be. Okay, so there we have it, a really simple little daisy design. So I'm gonna continue to go around the nail, or down the nail, I should say. Again, push and then up. So we're not brushing this at all. It is literally just pressure up load up my brush, pressure up. So you can see how quick this design can be. And it is super salon viable. So to create smaller daisies, we can go in and just push a little bit lighter to create those smaller petals. So just literally putting our point getting your angle right, imagining that there's a central dot there, and just popping those petals in. So this one is gonna be a full cover daisy nail. And like I say, you don't have to use a base color. You can just, this looks so cute on a nude nail and also on a French as well. And you can do these in different colors as well. So you could do little, they don't have to be white. You can do them pink or blue or whatever color you want. So it also looks super cute to do a daisy just off of the nail. And I'm just gonna come in and fill in this top section. And as you can see, this Innocence from my gel polish core collection 
holds its own weight so you do not have to use a painting gel for this in fact it is better to use a gel polish because it sits correctly and self levels out okay so I'm just going to come in here and do another one and just work your way up to create that full cover design and it is a little bit of trial and error with this design to know how much you need to load up your brush you don't have to be particular that some daisies have more petals than others I think it looks really cute when they are irregular you don't have to worry about getting just five petals into place and you can see I'm just pushing down not so hard on this one just to make a smaller petal and then I'm just going to do one coming off into that cuticle area okay so now we have got that full cover I'm going to pop that in the lamp for a full cure and because this is normal gel polish it's just 30 seconds so with this nail I'm going to do something slightly different I'm going to do a little bit of a lace design with our um, daisy design so I'm going to go in with a striping brush and I'm going to do a I'm just going to clean off my striping brush I'm going to go into my gel polish load up that brush so it's nice and even and then just come straight down the centre of the nail so I'm just going to thicken that up slightly letting my brush do the work for me okay and I've just gone off a little bit at the top so I'm just going to tidy that up there we go with a clean brush and that's going to go into the lamp for a full cure so this one has now fully cured and I'm going to go in with pot of gold just to make this a little bit more opulent so this is from the opulence collection from again get nailed by Laura McBride and I'm going to grab a dotting tool so this is a medium dotting tool okay I'm going to go into that pot of gold and I'm going to go into the center of each of these daisies so working from top to bottom just pop that dot in there at a 90 degree angle so we get a nice clean dot and you can see how those flowers just come alive when they have that central dot put in there not forgetting the ones that are coming off of the edge even if it's just the hint of that gold we need to complete them okay so again going into the lamp for a full cure and then on this one where we have done our line down the center I'm going to do some daisies coming off of this line so I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to again do that really simple petal shape working from that central point and I'm going to come all the way along this line So just putting that pressure onto my brush and then lifting up. Okay, into the lamp for a full cure. And then with this one, I'm going to go in with my dotting tool again, but I'm going to use a smaller dotting tool and I'm just going to put some little dots in and around these flowers. So just dot it. There's no rhyme or reason. Your dots can be smaller or larger. It's entirely up to you, but just filling in those negative spaces in between those flowers. 
So you can see there, as you start to run out of that gel polish, that one's a bit squiffy, get rid of that one. We want a dot, not a squidge. As we start to run out of that gel polish, we get those smaller dots. So fully load if you want the size of your dotting tool, or just gently don't fully tap, and then you get a smaller dot as well. So making sure we don't have any of those negative spaces left, checking the nail. Okay, into the lamp, and that needs to go in for a really good full cure now. And then in this one, we are gonna do our little dots again. So again, we're gonna just come in and just place those dots randomly across the nail, like so. And then I'm gonna go in and do my center of my daisies. So again, in here, but not going across that line. Like so. I'm just gonna pop a few more dots. In fact, I'm gonna fill this area here. There you go. All right, into the lamp, full cure. Now it's entirely up to you whether you do this matte or shiny. I'm gonna do this one shiny and then our other nail is gonna be half and half. So I'm gonna go in with our, I'd rather be shiny again, from Get Nailed by myself, or by Lauren McBride it's actually called. And I'm gonna put a really nice even layer of top coat on there so obviously if we were doing this on a client you'd be steering clear of their cuticle side walls and also capping that free edge so once you've got a nice even layer of that top coat that's now going to go in for a full cure so I'm just going to show you this now, which I did earlier. So I have just done like a little cuticle corner cuff, again using exactly the same technique as what I've used for the rest of the daisies. And now with this one, I'm going to change it up a bit. So I am going to mat one side and shine the other. So I'm going to go in with my material gel which is our matte top coat. And I'm gonna do the empty side matte, because I think it would be really nice to have that difference in the two and have a little bit of texture going on. So don't worry if you go over that line because we are gonna top coat the other side with shiny. So that is just gonna go into the lamp <clears throat> for a full cure. I'm not going to do both together because we don't want that matte and shiny to be blending into one another or bleeding into one another. So there you have this nail and you can see how that would look beautiful as a design set together. Really, really cute, simple and super salon viable as well. So I'm going to pop those two to one side. And then once this one comes out of the lamp, I'm gonna go in with my shiny top coat. So you can see this side is really nice and matte now. And then we're gonna go in with our shiny top coat. So I'm not gonna concentrate on that central line just yet. I'm gonna do the area furthest away and then really concentrate and get the edge of my brush down on that line so it's nice and seamless and then just make sure again that you're not having any contact with those cuticle sidewalls 
and capping that free edge. So that's now going to go into the lamp for a full cure. And that is our three spring designs done. So super cute. And you can use this for summer as well. You could go with brights and neons and whatever colorway that you want. It really does mix it up lovely to have these you could do each flower in a different color, but that technique is the same. And I, like I say, I would recommend to use a gel polish because it does self level. So it fills in the gaps itself if your brush does cause any gaps whatsoever. So this now has now fully cured. And there you have it. Our beautiful spring daisy inspired design set so we've got that transition from the matte to the shiny and a little bit you could do that as a french as well um, and then we've got our full cover now and our corner cuticle cuff and that completes this workshop i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please make sure you click the subscribe button and if you want to see any future videos just click them below thank you all so much for joining me and i'll see you all soon